Over the weekend, people in the triad had a chance to pay tribute to Americans who died in the Vietnam War. The wall that heals was put up on display in Asheboro. Our star Connor was there as people honored not only those who died, but also women who served in Vietnam. To me, being in the military was such a unique experience, and I was so happy that I served. Meet Dixie Olson. She served in the Vietnam War. She says being honored Saturday was emotional. Especially Vietnam veterans, since they never got the recognition at that time. It is so important to honor them at that now, to show them that they are very much appreciated. Olson remembers her assignments during her time in the Army. We would get the, the format and then we would have to write a report. And we were across the street from the general's office, so he always had to have his input. It's just awesome that we're recognized. There's not, not a whole lot of female veterans out there, but when they honor us, that is beyond words. Cynthia Tucker served in the Navy during the 90s. She was moved as she reflected on the names of more than 58,000 men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice in Vietnam. Brought a lot of tears to my eyes to think of what I could have gone through, but didn't. Organizer and Air Force veteran Rita Honeycutt says her goal has been complete, bringing the three-quarter scale replica of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial seen in Washington, D.C., to her community. I work with our Vietnam veterans every day, um, and a lot of them had said that they you know, would like to see the wall, but they can't travel to D.C. either because it's expensive to, or physically it's hard to. Honeycutt says the wall that heals next stop will be in Maine. In Asheboro, Star Connor, WXII 12 News.